guess QSA Destination One here for the uh, the finale of uh, my Minecraft Road to the End series. I got myself two more eye vendors, um, some more food. So uh, yeah, got our arrows, stuff like that. Um, got enchanted armor and weapons. I think we are good. So uh, welcome to the finale. And uh, this is going to be the end. Oh, okay, it just took us right in. Oh, okay, okay. Do not want to look at any Enderman. I know there are these columns. Yeah, there they are. Hello, Enderman. These columns, there is a dragon. We want to take those out. lower oh crap oh crap that scared me all I saw what I was like oh, oh geez I looked at it enderman ah crap I didn't mean to look at it jeez scared the shiz out of me man Holy crap, quit hitting me. Okay, I think this is going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. We got one taken out. Ah, oh, crap, I keep looking at Endermen. They're everywhere, that's the problem here. Quit! Where is he? Do I have like... I need to get those high ones. Oh, jeez. Try not to look at the Enderman. Got that one. Got that one. Ooh, I hit the dragon. Oh, but he's getting his health back. Ooh. Oh, crap. Did it recognize it? Okay, good. I am trying my best. My uh, diamond armor, my enchanted diamond armor is really helping out here. I see the dragon. I see you. I see you up there. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Got it! First, first try. Pro right there. Crap, is he coming down? Yes, he is. Get out of here. I got my enchanted diamond sword. Come at me, bro. Missed. Get out of here. Man. I already used up quite a bit of my arrows. Crap, 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 crap. Don't come near me. This is gonna be... Fudge! Oh god. I might have to go up there and get those ones like climb them. I don't know. Can you get out?
Why? Oh, got that. Hang on. I'm gonna take advantage of this. Oh man. I can't. Mind getting out of here, bro? I don't appreciate you just coming over here and knocking me over. Get out of here, bro. No one wants you here, man. Get away. He's like swooping down at me. Where is he? Ho oh, shiz! Hang on. Oh. Oh, we got. Whoa! We got two! Did you see that? Two in one arrow! I think the explosion made the other one explode, man. Huh. Now we got these really high towers to handle. Where is it? If I can get this one. Is it going too low? I can't tell. Oh, we got it! Oh, we got that! Yeah, boy! Ah, oh, she is! Oh-ho! Get monster pounced! Okay, wh which ones are left? Which ones are left? I don't want them to get close to anyone. Hey! Do you guys see any? We can't have gotten all of them, have we? Did we? No, there's one way down there that I didn't get. Oh. Might want to destroy that. I don't know. Hey, dragon. Check this out. Did I get them all? Jeez, I cannot hit this dragon. They need to make this bo boss fight more epic, like, more, I, I guess, harder. Like, it's not really that hard if you got this, like... Hey, I got him. Oh! Come at me, bro! Oh, I'm waiting for you. Come at me. Oh, you're coming. Oh, yeah. No! Come back! I'm over here. Oh, I see you, man. You can only, like, hit him once. Come at me, bro.
I can't hit this stupid dragon. <laughs> He's getting on my nerves. I have horrible aim with this bow. There's like this weird grainy texture in the background in the end. Like it looks like an old film movie. Ooh, hello Enderman. Well, this wasn't as as exciting as I thought it would be, but I've never actually killed the dragon. Hello. You should get monster pounce because you ain't coming near me, boy. Where'd he go? Hello. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know why I can't hit him more than once. Like, he's not even that... Oh, I got him right in the head. That does a lot of damage. Come at me. Keep coming at me, man. I think he's gonna charge in. Yeah, here here he comes. No, he's not. I gotta hit him. Hey, he's gonna fly away and swoop in. Maybe. I have 24 arrows left. Holy crap. Almost got him, man. Oh, crap lag. I'm surprised I haven't looked at a lot of Endermen. Here he comes, here he comes! Ah, oh, crap. Here he comes. Where's he going? Oh, got him. Oh, that didn't hit him. I thought that would. Dragon, down here. Dragon. Down here, dragon. Come here. Thank you. No, you fly way too fast. Come here. Don't you get a dragon egg? After you beat him. And now you get like a billion XP. So I need to like kill him somewhere where you're, I can get it all. No, come here. I'm... Can you quit running away? Holy crap. Come swoop down on me. You can easily see me. Like, I'm visible. I'm freaking visible. We almost got this guy. We almost got him. Come down. No.
Oh, one more hit, man. Look at that. I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. Look at, oh. Look at this XP. Look at this XP. Seven. What level? Holy crap. Oh, my gosh. Oh. That's just. Oh, my gosh. Isn't. Wait. Oh, there's a dragon egg. Hang on. Oh, I got a dragon egg. How do you get it? There it is. How do you pick it up? Do you have to mine it? Oh wait, do you have to knock it into the portal? Hey! Dragon egg. Come. Hey! You! Where'd it go? Where'd Dragon Egg go? Hello? Dragon Egg? Oh! Where'd he go? I wanted a Dragon Egg. What? Kidding me? Yes. Oh crap! I just fell through. Well, that is the uh, the end of Minecraft. Here are the credits. So, uh, thank you guys for tuning in to this. Uh, series the road to the end um it's been fun actually got to beat minecraft for the first time and uh yeah i'm gonna just uh stop talking now and uh you guys can read this i guess the credits i'll just read it i see the player name in minecraft beast 15 Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we are part of the game. I like this player. It played well. I did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on the screen. That is how it chooses to imagine many things when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible and less terrifying than staring at the reality behind the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read. Back in the days when those who did not play called the player witches and warlocks and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created and dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted and it, and it was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha! The original interface. A million, a million years old, and it still works. What, but what the true structure did this player create in reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt the true world in a, fo in a fold of the, and created a, four and the. I cannot read that thought. No, has not yet achieved the highest level that it must achieve in the long dream of life, nor the short dream of a game. Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in a long dream. It creates worlds that, no ha that have no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of sorrow would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its own private task. We cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them of their importance to the universe. Sometimes when they have not yet made a true connection in a while, I want to help them to speak the word they fear. It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them this world you take for truth is merely blank. And blank, I wish to tell you that they are blank in the blank. They see, too, they see still little of reality in their long dream. And yet they play the game. But it would be so easy to tell them. 
too strong for this dream. To tell them how to live is to prevent them from living. I will not let the player. I will not tell the player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player a story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Minecraft beats Beast 15, player of games. Good. Seems like they're having a conversation. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel in your air in your lungs. Let limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again. Under gravity, in air, respond in the long dream. There you are. Your body touching the universe again at every point, as though you were separate. You were separate things, as though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the spirit of the mountain. Father, sun, m mother, moon, ancestral spirits, animal spirits, jinn, ghosts, the green man, then gods, demons, angels, poltergeists, aliens, extraterrestrials, leptons, quarks. The word change. We do not change. We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now through your skin and your eyes, and why does the universe touch your skin and throw a light on you? I see you, player. To know you and to be known, I shall tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Minecraft Beast 15. Sometimes it thought itself human, on the thin crust of a spinning globe of molten rock. The ball of molten rock circle, circled the ball of blazing gas that there was that there was three, three hundred and thirty thousand times more massive than it. They were so far apart that the light took eight minutes across the gap. The light was information from a star and it could burn your skin away 150 miles million kilometers away. Sometimes a player dreamed it was a miner on the surface of the world that was flat and infinite and the sun was a square of white. These days were short. There was much to do and death was temporary and inconvenience. Sometimes a player dreamed it was lost in a story. Sometimes a player dreamed there's other things in other places. Sometimes these dreams were disturbing. Sometimes very be beautiful indeed. Sometimes the player woke from one dream into another, then woke from that into a third. Sometimes the player dreamed it watched words on the screen. Let's go back. The atoms of the player were scattered in the grass and the rivers in the air and the ground. A woman gathered the atoms. She drank, ate, and inhaled, and the woman assembled the player in her body. And the player awoke from the warm, dark world of its mother's body into the long dream. And the player was a new story, never told before, written in letters of DNA. And the player was a new program, never run before, generated by a source code a billion years old. And the player was a new human, never alive before, made for nothing but milk and love. You are the player, the story, the program, the human, made from nothing but milk and love. Let's go further back. The seven billion 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 atoms of the player's body were created long before this game, and the heart of the stars. The player, too, is information from a star, and the player moves through a story, which is a force of information planted by a man called Julian on a flat, infinite world created by a man called Marcus that exists inside a small, private world created by the player who inhabits a universe created by... Shush! Sometimes the player created a small, private world that was soft and warm and simple, sometimes hard and cold and complicated, sometimes it built a model of the universe in its head, flex and energy moving through the vast empty spaces, sometimes it called those flex electrons and protons, sometimes it called them planets and stars, sometimes it believed it was a universe that was made of energy that was made of offs and ons, zeros and ones, lines of code, sometimes it believed it was playing a game, sometimes it believed it was reading words on the screen, you are the player reading words, shush, sometimes the player read lines of code on the screen, decoded them into words, decoded words into the meaning, decoded meaning into feelings, emotion, theories, ideas, and the player started to breathe faster and deeper and realized it was alive. It was alive. There were thousand deaths and that had been real. The player was alive. You, you are alive. And the, and the, sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken it to, spoken to it through the sunlight that came through the shuffling leaves on the summer trees. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the light and fell from the crisp night sky of winter, where a fleck of light in the corner of the player's eyes might be a star a million times as massive as the sun, boiling its planets to plasma in order to be visible for a moment to the player walking home from the far side of the universe, suddenly smelling food almost at the familiar door about to dream again. And sometimes the player believed the universe had spoken to it through the zeros and ones, through the electricity of the world, through the scrolling words on the screen and in the dream. And the universe said, I love you. And the universe said, you have played the game well. And the universe said, everything you need is within you. And the universe said, you are stronger than you know. And the universe said, you are the daylight. 
And the universe said, You are the night. And the universe said, The darkness you fight is within you. And the universe said, The light you seek is within you. And the universe said, You are not alone. And the universe said, You are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, You are the universe tasting itself, taking it to itself, reading its own code. And the universe said, I love you, because you are love. And the game was over, and the player woke up from the dream, and the player became a dream dream, and the player dreamed again, dreamed better, and the player was the universe, and the player was love. You are the player. Wake up. That's the end of it, guys. Well, that was interesting. Uh, so these are the credits. Um, I just wanted to read through that because I knew that was at the uh, end. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Road to the end. See you guys later. Bye.